remember when fun was as common as cold? Remember when it was just doers and souls? Now we're just sitting here 19 years old. Confused as fuck, wondering where the time go. Nobody wanna stop being an adult. We'll spend with this guilt and this pain that won't stop. Trying to figure it. Fuck it. Used to quietly ride my bike. Now I'm better the way I'm lost. Used to run through a lot trailer. The one in the backyard. Used to quietly ride my bike. Now I'm better the way I'm lost. Used to run through that trailer. The one in the backyard. Used to be really dumb with my dad. He didn't talk the way I talked all the way I thought nowadays when I'm thinking back. I wish I was alive to the love of each and everything else. I wish I didn't take free time for granted. Nowadays I'm in depression or panic. Things are so different. I don't understand it. My plan is so dumb that I can't even manage. You should always bite my tongue, that way I'm never holding back Used to be weak and alone, long and weak Used to be I want what I want, what I want, just give it to me Give it to me, give it to me What's up goons and grumbos, it's Discover And today we're doing a lyrical breakdown of Sprinklers So I wrote this song when I was 19 as the lyrics show And it was about my experience transitioning from childhood, innocence, simplicity, wonder, lack of responsibilities, to the more hardening adult experiences of trauma, sharply mixed emotions, and the realization of a more bleak reality than I had seen as a child. Part of what motivated this song is the very related to phenomena of teens being expected to be adults, but treated as children. There's a very soft side of teenagers that gets really mixed up and confused when we have all these expectations and pressures that come down on us and our brains aren't even fully developed. There was just something very crushing about that when that wave came over me at 19. I know many, many of my friends experienced that at much younger ages than they should have. There's a line that I screwed up in the live footage and that goes, trying to remember the things we were taught, said we remember, but now we forgot. There are very simple sayings that my mom taught me that I know a lot of other kids heard like, just be yourself, just be yourself. When I went into the public school system for the first time in fourth grade, that is what my mom told me. I was nervous, but she said, just be yourself. And genuinely I was, I was being myself when I got in there. But as I grew older, near the end of my high school years, I started realizing that I was imbuing a lot of toxic values and behaviors, masquerading a lot of hyper-masculinity, to shadow my more feminine qualities because I had been taught what it means to be a man is to get a bunch of girls to be hard and to never let your emotions out. Not to mention, society never teaches us to actually be ourselves. We have so many ideas that are shoved down our throat 24 seven in music, in TV, in classrooms, in school. We don't know what to be anymore with all of these expectations and pressures coming down on us. And there just came a wave of depression that really came over me. And I know that it was hitting a lot of my friends too. There was a lot of peers that I had um, later on that I realized were not being themselves. After realizing how much I wasn't being myself, I could look people in the face and just tell that they were being fake. And that they either were choosing not to or didn't know how to be themselves. In the final verse of the song, I talk about how I saw my dad as someone unintelligent. And that's because the media has taught me as a young child that foreign accents make you stupid or ignorant. My dad came from Hong Kong when he was 18. He worked his way up for 40 years here, but he still doesn't have the most perfect English. And as a child, I took that as a sign of unintelligence and I started treating him differently. And eventually when I was getting up to age 18, I started realizing what my sister, my older sister meant when she said, you'll understand dad's love when you get older. I never realized how unending and unconditional, how devoted his love was because I couldn't look past this judgment that I had. But after 
I spent some more time with him and I tried to have patience and an open mind to who he was and what his love was, it completely transformed how I thought him to be. I also say, nowadays I'm in depression or panic. My plate is so filled that I can't even manage. I believe it's from the American ethos of never actually having downtime and constantly working and working and working and that you're never being productive unless you are laboring and working on something constructive. And it's come to the point where I'm a workaholic and I'm constantly piling things onto my plate when I haven't even finished what I had before. Overworking myself to the point where I'm either depressed that I'm not working enough or I'm panicked that I'm not doing enough. Um, it's definitely still something I struggle with today, but I understand that there are many different ways to live, that work is not life, downtime is okay, and that not being a perfect adult is fine. There's something I heard um, a long time ago said that you never really grow up um, kids just kind of get older and then masquerade around as adults. And I feel like a lot of us are convinced about that, that after you hit 18, you're an adult now, but there's a lot of people that are like 35 years old who have the heart of a 12 year old, but they're viewed as someone who's being immature. But I feel like we are all still children and we will always be children. The more that we can accept that, the more we can accept ourselves, and the more we can progress forward in a more healthy society, creating values that really benefit the next generation of children. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment. And also, what's a saying that you were taught as a child that you took for granted? Comment below. Thanks.